Just days after being crowned Miss Mississippi, Sarah Beth James was in the hospital. You having a good time? Yes, this has been wonderful. It's my second official appearance as Miss Mississippi, and I think it's very appropriate that I get to do it at Blairy Batson. We've got 135 teddy bears, and we plan on passing all of them out. <laughs> For five-year-old Marie Collier, eight-year-old Reagan Spence, and more than 130 other patients at the state's only children's hospital, the reigning Miss Mississippi brought more than just teddy bears. It's great. It's something that these kids do look forward to. And like these kids, they don't really have a smile on their face until they hear that Miss Mississippi's coming and they put a big smile on their face and they enjoy it. Patients like Jim Grin of Hattiesburg, a 15-year-old who's no stranger to Children's Hospital. Kind of thrilling because I saw her on uh, TV and everything and they said she's going to be at uh, Blair E. Batson. So I knew that she was coming, but I didn't, know, didn't think she was going to be there today. And when they said she was coming, I was like, okay, cool. Somebody to meet and somebody uh, kind of famous to talk to and everything. Oh, it's, it's just uplifting. You know, it, it, you get in here and days get kind of long. So a little, you know, something, somebody very nice come visit and just changes uh, changes your outlook for the day. Does it ever get old for you? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Every time Miss Mississippi comes around and it goes into these rooms, it's something that, you know, it can't get old because um, these kids, the joy on these kids' faces, it's something that just is new every every time. What's it mean when you have a, a special visitor like Miss Mississippi come to? A, well, it's great. It, 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 makes her ha it makes her happy and makes her smile, and anything that does that is important. <laughs> <laughs> All the patients have been very sweet and just adorable. The Miss America organization works closely with the Children's Miracle Network, which raises money and support for Batson and other children's hospitals nationwide. James hopes all Miss Mississippi contestants will visit Batson together next year before the state pageant so they can experience what she has today. A lot of times when you're doing things like this that the giver actually benefits more than the receiver and I know I've benefited a lot today. To learn more about the Blairy Batson Hospital for Children, go to umc.edu.